Hello, it's Hanno from Eblos. Today I will show you how to connect Eblos Survey Wizard with this GNS receiver. It's a Galaxy G1 of South. So let's start by turning the GNSS receiver on. So when it's on, this GNS receiver talks. But let's continue. So now we're in our Abglos Armor tablet and we're going to the settings. And we first go to data usage and we turn the cellular data off. Then we go back and we go to Wi-Fi. And we turn the Wi-Fi on. It's searching for all the Wi-Fi networks and there is one called South with a number and we click on it and we connect. So after it being connected we go back, we go to the browser. And we type in the address 10.1.1.1 followed by enter. And then we are in the GNNS web server. We only need the username and password, but this is easy because it's just admin and for the password it's also at min and then we can log in uh, we don't want to remember it so now we see a, a big menu with where you can put all the settings of the GNS receiver the Galaxy G1 of South so let's first go to configuration and we go to general config we make sure that the data link is Bluetooth. There are other options, but we choose Bluetooth and the radio router is none. Also, the work mode has to be Rover. It's not base nor static. And then we put enter. It says success. So that's nice. After that, we go to the antenna setup. And we change the height to zero, zero meter and then measuring method is to the bottom. Oh, so here we have a success. After that you can go to satellite tracking and select all the uh, satellites that you want to uh, follow and that are used in the GNS receiver. Um, and after that we go to system setup. <clears throat> Here we go to enemy a header and we select GN and also here we click on enter and again we have a success. Very successful this GNNS receiver, the Galaxy G1 of South. After that we go to data transfer and we click on serial port config. You see behind Bluetooth that the data flow is navigation data, which is correct. So we click on enter and we have a success. Then we go to data flow config. And here you see the enemy A strings that the GNS receiver will send over Bluetooth. So the GGA string has to be sent every one second. And that is also counting for the GST string. We don't need the VTG string so we can turn it off. We only need GGA and GST for Abloss Survey Wizard. After that we can go to enter and we have a success again. Then there's still the network config 
and we go to Bluetooth config and here we make sure that uh, the checkboxes for active and discoverable are checked so we click here enter and there's a success and we click on OK so now we can go back to settings we can turn off the Wi-Fi and then we can go back to data usage and turn on the cellular, cellular data after that we can turn on a Gloss Survey Wizard so as you see configuring the Galaxy G1 of South is kind of easy let's see how to connect it with Gloss Survey Wizard so in Gloss Survey Wizard we go to connect we click on add bluetooth device and allow a gloss of wizard searches now for the galaxy g1 of south and if there is any other bluetooth device around so there's only the bluetooth device that is uh, of the galaxy g1 we click on it and then we click on back we select the Galaxy G1 all the entry data is already filled in so we click on connect and there is a connection with the Galaxy G1 and it already has RTK so what we can do now is to measure a point so now we map the point with the galaxy g1 of south that was kind of easy thank you for watching